Today, I'm asking Fang engineers and managers for advice on how to actually get into Fang. And is it even worth it? Uh, Let's start with the intro. Hi everyone, my name is Vineet Joglekar. I am Amisha Agarwal. My name is Anurag. This is Abhishek Sharma. I am Vishal. I am Abhishek Sharma. I am an engineering manager at uh, Google, New York City office. I work as a software engineer at Amazon. I'm an SD2 here. I work at Microsoft as a software engineer. My primary location is Mad. And I'm SD2 at Amazon. Our office is in Bangalore. SD1 at Google in Bangalore. I have recently graduated from IIIT Delhi and I also have a YouTube channel so do check that out. Currently I am working in Microsoft. I am working as a software engineer and my location is Noida. And what's your tech stack? My tech stack is F Sharp and Colang. It's going to be backend in Java. Mostly we work with uh, Java and Scala. I work on Colang, Python and F Sharp so that is currently my tech stack. Was it worth the fang hype that is going around these days? I think it's definitely worth it. It uh, wasn't if you are coming in early time of your career. It's good to have these companies on in your CV. In some aspects it is worth the hype and in some aspects it's not not a clear cut yes or no. I would say the hype I don't know if it's worth it or not but there of course it's pros and cons. But if you are coming early then maybe you are not going to get a lot of benefits in monetary terms. There are companies which pay more than Google so it's not probably worth the hype in that sense. So it's better if we come in the later phase of our career. In the fact. In terms of benefits like food I can say that it's definitely worth the hype. It's one of the best food I've ever eaten. One thing I've seen on social media that people obsessing over that everybody wants to join FANG and if they don't join FANG they feel on it's like, oh, they haven't accomplished anything in life. I would like to caution people against having that attitude. I have seen people who are doing great in early startups as well. I'll say there are many growing uh, unicorns, right? Cred, uh, Swiggy Zomato and uh, Share Chat a lot. So don't restrict yourself to Fang. I know many people who never want to work in an MNC or Fang want to work in a startup environment only because they get to learn a lot. It is really worthwhile to attempt to get into Fang, but there are amazing opportunities elsewhere as well. Startups giving you different kind of opportunities financial industry giving different kind of opportunities. So don't obsess over getting into FANG or if you don't get into FANG, don't think that you are a failure. Like there, are, you can make an impact anywhere in the world and there are bright engineers uh, outside of FANG and tremendous number of opportunities also outside of FANG. And uh, something that you like about your work and something that you don't. What I like the most is the opportunity that I am getting. You build something from scratch and you completely own that. Uh, make an impact in the world, like you can create things that actually impact people's lives. I really like uh, how many customers we are impacting. So seeing that immediate impact and seeing people using your product, like there are literally billions of queries happening a day uh, regarding local search all over the world. We interact with principal engineers like L7, L6 very closely right from their experience you are learning a lot uh, we own the project, project delivery from right from the design phase till the uh, end of it testing and everything right till the production phase so the end to end ownership is something that I like a lot if anyone uh, of my relatives come and ask me like okay Anurag where do you work so when I tell them I work at Amazon they, or they just know that okay Amazon is a good company it's a well known reputed company so he might be working at a good place only so like there is no doubt about if it if you have a tag Amazon tag or a Microsoft tag Apple tag recruiter directly call you right but one thing I don't like about tech is that you have to be glued to your laptop for a large part of your day. Health-wise, it's not a very good thing. The things are very slow at Microsoft. Uh, when we get something to review, then it takes a lot of time for the official thing. For everything, we have to follow some process, right? Uh, we slow the uh, deliveries of the projects. I used to work at Grover, so like the environment used to be not as professional as, as it's you know, in a big environment like Amazon. Sometimes uh, it gets overwhelmed in terms of work. There are a lot of projects and all. We also work good on project. hectic schedule at times i need to stretch out in my daily life to you know complete the work one piece of advice if you have to give to your college self one piece of advice that i would give to my college self would be to just have faith and work hard so instead of you know being intimidated by people around me i should probably just focus on what i can do and not get into that imposter syndrome because the people at my college are really smart i'll say don't test it yourself to start to i mean bang Keep yourself open to everything. Your attitude should be, I want to make an impact. I want to get a good job. And then if, even if you don't get what you want in the first try, like be an amazing developer, make a significant impact and get more responsibility and use that as a ladder to get to where you want. Right? Usually the career, if you see, it is about what 30 to 40 years. So even if you don't get 
to where you want in the first two or three years. That's that's not end of it, right? You have long way ahead of you. So I know many people who got rejected at once, so one times, two times, but they got in the third time. Join a startup in the initial phase of your career and then come here in a later phase. Someone wants to work for Fang, they should have first of all the clarity that they actually want to work for Fang, and it's just not because the hype which is going into the market. I do connect with your seniors who are already based in these companies like Fang. These people can refer you, right? So that's a good thing to have. If you had to do all of this from scratch again. Is there something that you you would do differently now? That's a very tricky question, right? For sure, I won't become an engineer. I don't think that something I would have changed if I do it from start. <laughs> well, I I like uh, it's a college time and people were doing the DSA, so I started that. So just because all were doing, that's why I started, and uh, that's why I'm here. But maybe if I took the choices which I really want to do, then I won't become an engineer, and maybe I become an like anything but other than engineer i should have participated in hackathons and development mostly building projects and all those things if i had to start over i would definitely focus on getting better grades at the same time have to kind of make your profile stand out so just having good grades is not going to be enough you have to do something extra and what that extra is varies from person to person focus a little bit more on development in my college i would have also focused a bit on uh, machine learning data science i was not really interested much at that time now i feel it's time you know, that i need to actually go into that and that's not that will be needed for sure going forward dsa projects competitive if you had to choose one what would it be <laughs> yeah you will see endless debate on twitter and on the social media about that i would I... choose projects personally uh... <laughs> dsa is very important dsa is what got me into google so, so believe me if you want to crack the interview you have to do dsa every computer student should know dsa this question should be project or computer programming right like divide your time 60% give to competitive programming and 40% give to projects there are there are two components right like one is how do you make your profile stand out so that companies find your resume attractive and give you an interview call. and then the second part is how do you then crack that interview so where does the competitive programming or development of side projects come into picture is the first part in the first week itself i was able to impress my mentor and my manager with a lot of development things i already knew i already, already knew how to debug all the basic databases i have used aws in my past land all those things yeah i mean that's why i feel a bit more biased towards projects both will help you a lot but yeah computer programming i'll say is the <laughs> key <laughs> dsa is the most important thing for some online assessments you will also need a bit of cp so that is also important because companies like uber ragtai and uh, code nation they really want a uh, proper uh, competitive programming projects are usually not considered that important from getting a job perspective although i would say that projects are the ones that actually help you learn something but Yeah, that is the sad reality that they don't play much role in the interviews. Uh, the companies like Fang, the mainly the Amazon, Microsoft, Google, they are mainly based on the DSA things. Want to go for a startup or a mid-sized company, then uh, projects are really important. At the same time, if you have interest for other things, then just go for it. Yeah, that was all. I, anything that you would like to add? One advice will be to keep your LinkedIn updated. You can get opportunities through LinkedIn. Any time you do an internship, post whatever you learned in that internship, whatever impact you made. So that is very important. I mean, I wish everybody. all the best like i know that it could be really tough competition out there but trust the process give your best uh, keep working hard and as i said like if if not now you will get to your goal eventually if you feel you are very comfortable at your position at your uh, role so try to switch not just company i will say try to switch your team try to look at some other things keep on growing learn new things keep learning keep also updated with the upcoming technologies working in, in corporate uh, or maybe let's say in product based companies a roller coaster right there would be days when you will be feeling so happy about everything and there would be days when you are debugging the errors it would be frustrating at some time and it could be so good at some time so i would say just enjoy the journey once you get to that company it is equally important to like do things in the right way to succeed at that company and that's where i'm trying to help people with so uh, uh, please check out my videos uh, as well my channel as well it's vj's insight vjs insights uh, same handle on twitter and youtube and uh, yeah please subscribe and uh, give me honest feedback so if you have any questions anything and you want to talk to me and follow me on linkedin so vishal bachas is my uh, name on linkedin feel free to connect to me on linkedin or instagram so i'll be there always to respond to you yeah so whoever is watching like they can connect with me uh, link is in the description we can connect on linkedin you guys can follow me on linkedin i'll be easily findable on linkedin you can just search abhishek sharma uh, working in microsoft and you will get me